Have you ever done a science experiment and wondered what it'd be like if you did it big? I have. <laughs> My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. This episode is all about friction. Yeah, friction! Keeping things suspended up high thanks to friction, like this. And this. And even me! Okay! Climbing, sliding, <laughs> lifting, and falling. Uh, falling? I guess not yet. All on this episode of Science Max Experiments at Large. <laughs> Greetings, Science Maximites. My name is Phil, and today we're talking about friction. I didn't slide. Take two. I can't, I'm still not. Oh, I, I know, I know, I got it. Take three. Oh, socks don't work any better. Take 15. <laughs> 34. Take 36. I don't know why I thought that would work. Take 52. I'm Phil, and today we're talking about friction! <laughs> Okay. Oh, <laughs> friction! We did it! We got it, everybody! How many takes was that? Oh. Well, still, we got it. Good work. <laughs> As you may have already guessed, today is about friction. And here's a really easy friction experiment you can do at home. All you need is a piece of wood. You don't need the frame, and you don't have to uh, do anything fancy to it. Just put one end up on a couch or a coffee table and make a nice ramp. Then you want something to slide down that ramp. And I like to use a piece of wood. Now check it out. Wood ramp, wood block. The friction is so much that the wood slides to there. Now what I like to do is take a little flag and mark the results. Recording the results is good science. Now here's where it gets fun. Get another surface and attach it to the wood, like carpet and wood. Let's see how far this goes. Hmm, not as good. All right, record the results. Cardboard. Ooh, nicely done, cardboard. Foam. And this wood has been waxed, like on a floor wax, which makes it nice and slippery. Let's see how that does. Ooh. And now the ultimate ice attached to wood. This is actually harder to do than I thought. All right, let's try it out. Not a big surprise right there. And get this, once you've done all of that, you can change the surface of the ramp. You can go to waxed wood, carpet, foam, cardboard. But, and, and well, yeah, you get the idea. Record all the results, compare them, and there you go. Friction ramp experiment. And that's what we're gonna be maxing out today. So come on, let's go. Check it out, I've improved the portal interface. Watch this. Yeah, and then I can scroll through experts and oh, this is gonna be fun. And I've got my coordinates right there. Oh, um, that's never happened. Okay. From Mad Science, you're gonna help me max out friction! Yeah, friction! What do you think of my max out friction room? It's amazing, it's so wonderful. So how are we gonna max out friction today? In the lab, I had a ramp, and I had um, stuff with different surfaces on it. Oh, that's so cool. It's too bad you don't have it here. We could totally test that out. <laughs> I can bring it here. Awesome. I have a new app on my phone that talks to the portal. And let's see. And, ha, yeah. Huh. Mm. That's not what I, oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go, and, whoa. Uh, well, I can do this, I just, um, it needs an update. Yeah. That's what the, yeah, oh, there, there we it go. is, okay. Perfect. 
So here we go. Amazing. The friction ramp, it's pretty simple. You just take, um, I've got blocks of wood with different surfaces. Amazing. And then you just slide them down the ramp. Right. So cool. Yeah. So what if, um, to max it out, what if this is us? We're a block of wood? No, I mean like we are on the block of wood oh. and then we can tr try changing the bottom. I guess a block of wood isn't the right thing to use though. Right, yeah. Maybe we could use like a, like a sled. Oh, yeah, okay, like a, right, uh, like a snow sled. Mm. That's a great idea. Okay, so yeah. we'll tell you what, I will portal in a sled for are us. Are you sure you want to portal it in? I'm sure, just okay. stand, just stand back okay. though. Okay. Ha! Ah, there we go. Maxed out friction slide! <laughs> you ready, Sarah? Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right. Sarah and I pushed each other around on the sled, which was fun, but it was also tiring. It's uh, it's pretty hard. This is a uh, my turn, my turn. All right. Oh, yeah. Whoa, friction! Yeah, friction! Yeah, yeah, friction! But we soon realized it'd be pretty hard to measure how much friction there was. You know how hard you were pushing? Like, I had no idea how hard I was pushing. A lot, but that doesn't really help in science terms, so. Exactly. What do we do? Well, with your first experiment, you used a ramp. Could we maybe put a ramp up in here? In here? In here, yeah. I guess. Uh... Then we can measure also how far we go so we know how much friction is being used. Right, so we have our control and then we have all the, just like the blocks. Exactly, just like the blocks. Okay, great. So we'll get the ramp, we'll get a bunch of wood, right. yes. we'll get some tools. Yeah. The case of the missing friction! It was rough all over in the big city. My toughest case yet and I felt like I was getting nowhere. Someone stole all the city's friction. And it was my job to find out who and get it back. But after a week, I was no closer to solving the case. It was hard to get anything done now that there was no friction. Uptown to downtown, people were sliding all over with no way to stop themselves. It was chaos. Chaos, I tell you. But if there was any detective that could solve the case, it was me. <laughs> but it's like my grandma always said, it's tough to follow leads if you can't sit in your chair. <laughs> Nothing stays put in a city without friction. And you never appreciate something till it's gone. The phone rang. Sure, I wanted to answer it, but it slipped through my grasp just like this case. The mayor was on the line. He wanted to know if I'd made any progress. But I felt I was going in circles. I, I'm a little... I'm gonna have to call you back, Mr. Mayor. Without friction, you couldn't do very much at all. It was going to be my toughest case yet. Sounds good. Sarah and I are maxing out a friction ramp. Step one, make a giant ramp. There, are we done? Hey, I think so. We're done. But it proved a bit hard to lift up to the second floor. Fortunately, Sarah had an idea. Maybe we could use this crane. We use the crane! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got a five-ton crane at Science Max headquarters. Good thinking, Sarah. So we rigged it up and tried it out. The bonus was we could make the ramp any angle we wanted. Okay, time to get my helmet, because don't go any higher than that, because I don't have my helmet. And then we will start sliding down. All friction right, ramp! Friction. I got on the slide and Sarah lifted it up until I started moving. Ah! <laughs> and that allowed us to record our results. We're at two meters. Two, two meters. meters! Recorded. <laughs> First recording done, All now right. we switch it up. We tried it again with Sarah on the slide to see if she slid at the same height. And she did. Yeah. <laughs> now we have a way to record the results. The plastic sled went down the ramp at this height. Things with more friction will mean the mark is higher, and less friction will mean the mark is lower. So then, we tried it with... Cardboard! <laughs> cardboard! What did we get? And it was? A little over two meters. Meaning? Cardboard is a little bit less slippy than the plastic of the sled. All right. Ready for carpet sled? Good to go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, past two meters. Right. Oh, almost three. Here we go, here we go. 
carpet had even more. Oh my gosh, we're going this side. Whoa. That was so cool. <laughs> that was exactly three. Then we tried foam. Coming up on two meters. All right, coming up to three. It won't go up any higher. And just like the wood block, the foam didn't slide at all. What if I like do this and then I slide? <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, um, friction sled uh, on foam, highest friction of all of the materials. Oh, hello there. I, uh, uh, here's a fun science experiment you can do with science and friction together. Take two books. Put them on top of each other and pull them apart. Ooh, not too much friction. But if you take the books and you interleave some of the pages, maybe three or four parts, and try it again, pull them apart, they're a little harder to pull apart. That's because the friction for more pages touching each other actually starts to add up. So what if we were to take two books with a lot of pages and very carefully and meticulously take each page individually, one at a time, and overlay each one and go back and forth. These are two books completely shuffled together. The elastic band is actually just to hold the covers together. All right. So now the friction between all of these pages, when I try to pull it apart, makes it pretty much impossible. Now there's two things going on here. First of all, when you start to pull the books apart, the pages start to stick together because they squeeze together because you're pulling and they're squeezing. And the fact that there's so many pages sticking together, the friction builds up to a degree that is actually very impressive. But don't take my word for it, let's max it out. Here is another two books, elastic just to hold the covers. This one clamped to the wall, and I'm gonna pull this one. <laughs> Science, still don't believe me? Well, let's max it out some more. Two books, all the pages layered together, held together only by friction suspended over a giant bat of slime. Now, <laughs> let's see how much faith I have in science. <laughs> Friction! Yeah! Okay! Okay, oh no! Okay, now to get down. Okay, hold on. And then. <laughs> Science! <laughs> that was close. I have used our maxed out friction ramp and compared the regular sled to cardboard and foam. What's next? We've waxed the bottom of this sled and we're gonna try a wax sled next. Wax sled! All right, here we go. Right. One meter. Oh boy. 1.5 meters. Whoa! Oh. Wax sled! Slipperiest yet, yeah. only 1.5 meters. That's awesome. Do we have anything that's more slippery? Yeah, we do. We have ice sled. Are you ready to try it out? So ready to try it out. Okay, let's do it. All right. And there we Whoa. go. Whoa. <laughs> that was so cool. And only 1.25 meters. Least amount of friction. Ice wins. Ice so wins. Hmm. I think we should do something else to max this out, though. Maybe bringing it up a little bit more and yeah, using I... something with less friction. Wait, I have an idea. Um, yeah, okay, come with okay. me. Oh. 
This is a climbing frog. Why does he climb? Because of science. I pull on this rope, and then I pull on that rope, and I pull on that rope, and that rope, and he climbs up the ropes. And why? Well, because of friction. The secret is two straws. The straws are pointed away from each other at the bottom. This allows it to climb thanks to friction. Take a closer look. When I pull on one string, it pulls straight, which makes the frog pivot. That string slips through the straw because there's not a lot of friction. But there's lots of friction on the other side because of the angle. So one side of the string goes down, which makes the other go up, which means the frog goes up with it. All thanks to friction. So now, let's max it out. This is a super maxed out uh, climbing frog. Just like the small version, I have a rope going through two tubes. I pull on one rope and the other holds on by friction. Then I switch. And it does work. It's just a lot harder to pull on the ropes. Uh, but it totally works. Whoa, guess whoa. There, and then this one, and then that one, and then that one. Yeah! <laughs> a giant climbing frog! <laughs> <laughs> All because of friction. Here's another way to defy gravity using friction. Get a plastic water bottle and fill it with rice. Take two. So get a plastic water bottle and fill it with rice using a funnel. Then take a shish kebab skewer and stick it into the bottle and nothing happens. <laughs> but if you tap the bottle down, the rice starts to pack in a little bit better. See how the level of rice is lower? Which means you can add more rice. Pack it down even more. And you can even use something the same diameter as the mouth of the bottle, like say a highlighter. And make sure all the rice is as packed in as you can get it there. Now the rice is really packed in there. And when I stick the shish kebab skewer in, the friction between the pieces of rice and this wood is enough to lift the bottle using nothing but friction. Now, let's max it out. I filled this 20 liter water cooler jug full of rice and it's really, it's really heavy. I wanted to see if I could lift it using nothing but friction and this dowel, which is just a round piece of wood. All right, here we go. Ah, <laughs> science! I'd max it out even more, but I don't think I could lift anymore. It's okay, I could just fit. Um. Newton's first law in 60 seconds. Newton's first law says an object in motion tends to stay in motion. So, why don't they? See, if I was to throw this, it doesn't stay in motion, it doesn't keep going, it slows down and falls to the ground. Well, the whole law states an object in motion tends to stay in motion until an external force acts upon it. So what forces are acting upon this? Well, gravity for one, pulling it down towards the ground, and friction, specifically air friction, slowing this down and making it stop. Now, if you were to have something very light with a lot of surface area, it would really be affected by air friction. You wouldn't be able to throw it very far at all, no matter how hard you tried. So there you go. Newton's first law, an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless it's affected by an external force such as friction, like air friction. So, there you go. Sarah and I have recorded a lot of results on our ramp by raising it till we started to slide. Here we go! Now we've decided to raise the ramp to the highest point and see how far we can go using some low friction things, like a wheeled cart. I've made a double bike cart. Wheels are great for moving. They have rolling friction. Ready? Which is different from sliding friction. Whoa! Through all 
those boxes back there. That was it. We went really far. Total fun. Let's try something else. So what are we going to do next? Now we're going to do the frictionless this thing that we have at Science Max headquarters, a hover disc. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Where did you get it? Built it, season one. Amazing. As you may remember from that episode, a hover disc uses air to greatly reduce the friction with the ground. Here we go. So what would a hover disc do on a ramp? Right. Only one way to find out. Let's recap. Friction is when two surfaces rub against each other. You can have a very small amount of friction or a very large amount, depending on the materials. And using science to reduce friction results in the best sledding experiences. Nicely done. Science, Max. Experiments at large. Your turn? My turn? Yeah, let's okay, do it. Okay, so take those and I'll get this yep. and then I'll give you the helmet. And then we gotta rebuild the... Rebuilding the boxes is like the hardest part yeah. of this whole situation, but... No. Oh. I should, I should. Everything's fine. And then this one, and then that one, and then that one, and there you go. Aha, giant climbing frog! <laughs>